So I want to do the second part of the one, two, three combo today. I'm going to go into my humanoid animations folder. And here is the number two animation. I haven't cut it up yet. And if we look at number one, it ends at 15, 14. So number two starts at 15. And it'll end after the second punch. 24. Okay. I'm going to go to my animator window for the Y bot and drag in the second combo. I think I forgot to rename the animation here in the animation tab. So underscore two apply. I'll change the name here as well underscore two and the condition is that from one to two attack is true and when you go back to idle from combo one attack needs to be false and let me set up the graph here the animation itself is connected so I'll set this at 100%. Basically almost no transition. And in order to trigger this, I'm going to go into the attack script. I'm going to go down to the part where it says check combo. This is the function that we wrote a long time ago for our combo attack. And we've hard-coded the timing for you to press attack in order to trigger a combo. And instead of this, I want to have more control. So I'll create a header called com combo. And I'll have two float variables. Combo start. Time and combo and time. So if I go back down, so so this is the combo start time. We need to be behind the start time, but before the end time. If we press attack again, in the right timing, attack becomes true, and at the end, attack becomes false. So I'm going to go back to Unity. And for the attack, for the first hit, we need to set up the timing. I'm going to be pretty generous for now, so from 20% to 90%. Or 80% of the animation is the window. And if I click play, I'm going to press attack one more time after the first punch. The second punch gets triggered. And we don't have a transition from number two to idle, so we'll create it now. And transition is based on the attack exit time. So we'll go back to idle at the end of the attack and we'll set up the transition graph here. Okay. So now if I play, if I press attack once, we get one attack, but if I press it twice, we get the combo. And we haven't set up the numbers for the second attack yet, so I'll create a folder. Call it 123 combo underscore two. And here I'll create the attack ability one more time. Player 123 combo underscore two attack 
need to debug it for the start time and the end time i'll just set it at 10 percent and 90 percent we'll fix this later and the attack part right hand don't have any specific death types it must collide with the hand we'll deal with this later lethal range none we're based on the collision max hits one and for the combo time again i'm just going to use 20 percent and 80 percent i need to go to the attack script press f9 on the deregister and the register attached to unity so now if i play and i'm going to trigger the second attack oh we haven't added the ability yet so go to character state and add the one two three combo attack number two now let me play again so here is the beginning here is the attack register looks all right and here's the end Ninety-five. Ninety-nine. Okay. The animation is a little too quick, so there's barely any difference between ninety, ninety-five, and ninety-nine. Don't think it matters. Maybe I need to slow it down a little bit to 90%. Okay, that looks about right. Let me also check the timing. Okay, timing looks good. I also want a move forward for the second attack. So inside a folder, I'll create a move forward ability. Player one, two, three, combo underscore two, move forward. Lock direction. It's a constant speed graph will be a decrease over time. 0% at well, zero value at 50%. Speed, just try three. And I think that's it. So add the moving ability to combo number two and play. Okay. Looks like it's pretty good. I guess I should move a little more. Four. Hmm. Not bad, I would say. Let me slow it down even more. Eighty percent. Okay, I think I like that better. And I'm going to try hitting the enemy with the second punch, not the first one. Might be a little challenging. Okay, looks like the second punch is working fine as well. I think we need to make it move forward just a little more. I'll adjust the graph timing to 40%. Okay, I guess I like that. Okay, looks like it's working fine. So in the next video, I'm going to work on the third punch. And thanks for watching.